Let's look at our Alta site survey tool. There's a lot to go over, so let's get started. After opening the protective carrying case, you'll find the site survey tool and two antennas nicely packed. Take note, you will need to ship the tool back in the box it arrived in. You'll notice a QR code on the back of the device and on the case that houses the device. Scanning either code will quickly take you to the quick start guide, data sheet, user guide, and return shipping instructions. You may be asking why the device comes with two antennas. The larger articulated antenna is a dipole configuration and emulates the behavior of our industrial sensors with their external antenna. If you are planning on buying and installing Alta industrial sensors, you will want to connect the dipole antenna to the site survey tool. The smaller antenna is a monopole configuration and emulates our commercial sensor with the wire antennas found on the coin cell and AA battery versions. Please connect this antenna if you plan to deploy any of the Alta commercial sensors. After logging into your iMonit account, click Sensors under Overview. Once in Sensors, select Add Sensor. From here, you'll see a series of quick steps. Add Device, Setup, Validation, and Complete. Step 1, Add Device, is where you'll add the unique device ID and security code. The device ID number and the security code can be found on the bottom of the site survey tool in the housing recess. Security codes are case sensitive, so make sure the cap locks is on when entering. From the device setup screen, you'll be asked to enter the device ID number and the security code in the designated fields. Click the blue next button to move on in the process. On the next screen, when prompted to choose how you will use your sensor, select the desired reliability settings for auto configuration. The options are mission critical, strong, and functional reliability. We will discuss how each of these differ. You can make changes to your setting to match your deployment criteria. Click Save to move forward. Clicking Save will automatically move you to validation. From here, you can see if your gateway is online. Select Next to move forward, as well as see if your sensor is in a gateway list. With the Site Survey tool, you can skip Step 3, Insert Batteries, because the tool arrives with two AAA batteries pre-installed. This moves us to validate the sensor status. This step will complete automatically when the sensor communication is verified, or press Skip to bypass this check. The final step allows you to add another sensor, edit settings, or finish adding. Selecting I'm done adding sensors brings up a confirmation pop-up confirming with green check marks your device setup is complete. After hitting device setup is complete, you will be taken to the welcome to your account screen. Selecting setup complete takes you to the home screen. Turning on your device and finding your gateway. To power on the device, press and hold the Find Gateway on Off button for three seconds. Upon pressing, the device will turn on and the LCD will flash as the device starts searching for the gateway it was assigned to. After showing the gateway ID the survey tool is connected to, the ID will scroll across the screen twice. The screen will then show Ready, indicating the tool is waiting for the next button press. If the gateway ID on the LCD is not the gateway you want to connect to, see our user guide for further steps. After the tool connects to a gateway and displays ready, press the Signal Test button to begin scanning the RF environment and the True Signal Assessment. The screen starts flashing the intermediate True Signal results. Note, the result will be a number if the intermediate tests were successful. However, if the intermediate tests were not successful, the result will be a dash. Once the test is completed, the device will display pass, poor, or fail, and then displays the average true signal percentage. These results will show twice before the screen displays ready. After displaying ready, the device is now ready for the next signal test. What is true signal? This is an important term to know. True signal is a simple scale created by Monit to express the amount of usable signal at a test location, as calculated from the measured wireless signal strength 
and background interference. The result is expressed in percent and is directly correlated to your selected reliability setting, with pass corresponding to the percentages in green, poor to the percentages in yellow, and fail to the percentages in red for the various reliability settings. The signal reliability level allows you to select the pass poor threshold point. The device ships with strong as the default. What exactly do each of these mean and which one should you use? Mission critical optimizes deliverability over range. This means that it's more important the data get through 100% of the time and sacrifices range in the signal calculation. Use this setting if you cannot afford to miss a data point each and every transmission. Strong balances deliverability and range. As mentioned, this is the default setting and what Monit uses when we reference our 2000 foot range inside a traditional commercial facilities. This setting is a good balance between the two. Functional optimizes range over deliverability. Selecting this function means the data will usually get through on its first try. However, sometimes the data may not make it because of some unaccounted for variable, such as a truck parked between the sensor location and the gateway. In this case, the sensor can't reach the gateway, so it stores the data at the sensor and will attempt to deliver it the next time the sensor checks in. Now that we've covered how the device works, let's explain when it should be used. While we think it would be valuable for everyone to rent a site survey tool during installations, there are some scenarios and environments where it is recommended. Those situations and environments would be where distances greater than 1,200 feet, 400 meters, are desired and possibly achieved due to greater open spaces with less obstructions, such as greenhouse businesses, oil gas plant installations, and farms, as well as buildings where heavy use of concrete and rebar were used to increase stability, such as high-rises, sporting facilities, school buildings, hospitals, and churches, indoor installations with traditional commercial building structures with large architectural footprints, large amounts of square footage, in warehouse environments with lots of obstructions, in shipping containers or tractor trailer yards. The device may be rented for a monthly fee or purchased outright. Please contact a Monit sales representative for further information. Finally, let's go over a few helpful tips for using your site survey tool. Don't stand in the path of the site survey tool when pressing the button. This will add an RF inhibitor between the tool and the gateway that will not be present when the sensor is deployed. Make sure your antenna on the tool is upright and not horizontal. Antenna orientation in relation to the gateway is important for maintaining an excellent RF link. Please consult the article, Proper Orientation of Wireless Antennas and Sensor Position in our knowledge base. The link is in the description below. When you're ready to return the device, please scan the QR code on your device or on the box it arrived in and follow the instructions on how to return it. Or contact your sales rep and they will give you instructions on how to correctly do so. Now it's your turn to test the survey tool. We welcome your feedback and questions you may have. Let us know if there's anything we can do to improve the product.